Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about leading your first team as a junior developer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a bit of a story, but in essence it was Frederick, I have joined a company and management has decided to split out the teams into two separate teams and my boss has asked me to lead one of the teams, but I'm just a junior developer. <clears throat> How can I do this? Do you have any tips or things that I should think about? And the short answer is leading a team comes down to number one, communication. You need to have a very clear line of communication between you and your coworkers. Number two, you need to align people on in, in which direction you want to move. And last, lastly, you need to be able to answer the question, when are you done? Everybody, pretty much, that's what it comes down to. Let me explain. So I know that you might be freaking out a little bit over this, but I would also encourage you to see this as a pretty big opportunity because leading a team as a junior developer it, when you're very in the very early stages of your career is actually, you may think that this is very difficult, but it's actually not as difficult as you might suspect. It really comes down to these three points and you have now an opportunity to get a lot further in your career than you would have if you just sat down and coded. Now it all comes down to how are you going to deal with this and I will give you the tricks that I know will make, hopefully at the very least, make this the easiest experience for you. So first and foremost, you need to be able to set up a working process for your team members. Now you will have to deal with some people sometimes not being all that happy about your processes, but they are there for a reason and they do work. Because if you have a team of people who kind of just do whatever they feel like, and you, then you will never be able to answer that root question. And that is the thing that you should focus on as the team, team lead. When are you done? Now, that is a very powerful question because you will not be able to answer that question. Neither will your teammates be able to answer that question for any project that is bigger than themselves unless you all communicate. And that's why, why all these thing, these three things come together. Because when your stakeholders assign you, or your boss assigns you to be the team lead, you become the go-to person for all the questions within that team. Now, it is impossible for you to sit over the shoulder on every single person on your team. Even if it's just a few of you, it's very hard for you, especially as the team grows, to keep track of all what everybody's doing. And so by investing in tried and true practices that most of IT are using in order to induce a little bit of process, you will actually be able to do this. Now, I'm not saying that you should go crazy and become someone who just uses process for the sake of process, but you need a little bit because it's very similar to working as part of a football team or any sports team, basically, you have to have a strategy, you have to have an, a, a direction that you're all moving towards. So I highly encourage you to have a look at a Kanban board style of working. You can look at tools such as Jira and Trello, for example. These things will help you a lot and that will, and just start working with story cards. That's a very good, like I would say that that's the bulk of what you should do as you're on your first day to set that up for everybody and then introduce the idea that all right we will estimate work we will create story cards and then we will progress those story cards through the different steps in our process and these steps are usually all right you prepare some work it's in ongoing so that you can or it's ready for work so that you can actually pick it up it's ongoing someone is working on it it's ready for code review or testing or something like that and then you have a release of some sort where you actually ship the thing these steps are everybody can do this it doesn't matter if you're a super senior developer or if you're a junior developer anybody can follow this process it's very simple now the second thing that you need to do is that you need to uh, have a meeting or some form forum where it's e where it's possible for your teammates to communicate with each other. Now I highly recommend that you have a morning meeting such as what we call the stand up. The stand up meeting is it's a it's, you can go and look that up. It basically is just a five to 15 minutes meeting that starts off the day where you all talk about, all right, well, what did you do yesterday? 
what are you doing today? Do you need any help? Is there something that is unclear and so forth? These, it's just a way for you to kind of sync up with all your team members to kind of know where things are and if you need to change the scope or something or if something is delayed or so forth. Now the key thing here is what I was saying earlier, communication. Now if your primary focus as the, as the team lead is to create a work environment where everybody feels comfortable if you can do that, you will you will nail this. I promise you, you will nail this. And that comes down to uh, because that's what a working it's a, a successful software team needs. You need to have people who can communicate with the, each other and work well. So when if you want to achieve that, your focus should be to create an environment where it feels safe to ask questions and to ask for help and so forth, where you support each other. And the stand-up meeting is like the bare minimum you need in order to do that. And then you kind of have to be a little bit of an empath and talk to people and try to figure out if they need extra help or something like that. Some people are very like want to be isolated. Some people want the extra help and you need to kind of feel out the room and figure out what's going to be a good fit for your team. So if somebody asks for help, you go and sit with them. You go and rubber duck with them so that they can be unblocked and things like that. You, it's very important that you create this union sensation or this camaraderie sensation between you and your coworkers. If you can achieve that, most of your work has been done because then you have a work process and you have a communication process. And with these two together, you'll be able to answer the, that fundamental question. When are you done? Like, how are things going? And that's like most of what you do. So what I want you to take away from this is that leading a team is possible regardless of if you're a junior developer or a senior developer. And I'm just going to assume that you're going to lead you other juniors. And since you're all at the same experience level, you're kind of going to find your own way. So take these tips with you because they are tried and true. Create a Kanban board with Jira, Trello, whichever. Pick your favorite tool and create a, a slightly structured work process so that you know what the state of your stories are at all times because tracking how you're doing is a very important part of understanding when you're done. Second thing is create a forum where it feels safe to talk about issues or considerations. The stand-up meeting is a very short meeting that you can start every morning with and then you can all sync up on what's going to happen during the day if somebody needs to pair a program or somebody needs some extra help etc etc and that is what your focus should be as the team uh, the team lead. Your primary uh, you may think and this is a very erroneous thought that you need to know everything. That's not what being a manager or being a leader is about. Your job is not to know everything and be the best in the group. Your job is to create a situation where everybody feels like they know what they're doing and everybody feels like it's safe to talk to their coworkers and like th this is a safe environment where we, we help each other out. If you can do that and you can do, I promise you, you can do this even at the junior level, then you will have a successful software team. I promise you that. Have a great day.